bring in Mr. Frank Warren. How are you, sir? I'm pretty good. How are you? Very good. Great to see you. Uh, impressed with Liam. That's Liam's younger brother there. That's yeah, a pretty he's good. Been out of the ring for a while, yeah. hasn't he? So he's come back. And that was a nice little box. Big night for the Davis family. Um, big moment for Liam Davis tonight. How are you feeling about this main event? It's a great one. It is, and the history they got between them as an amateur, which I, I wasn't that much aware of when we made the fight. So it's made it a little bit more tasty, and uh, there's no love lost there, that's for sure. I'm sure they'll be afterwards, they'll, they'll show a lot of respect to each other, but um, yeah, this is, a, this is a really, really good fight. It's been very spicy. There's been, uh, you know, there's been members of Shabazz's team calling stuff out, goading Liam Davis in press conferences. Liam seems very fired up, and Shabazz thinks that maybe Liam's head's gone, too emotionally involved. Well, we'll find out when, we, when, the, when the bell goes. But they shouldn't be people at press conferences shouting out. They're called press conferences. So I wasn't there. If I'd have been there, they'd have been out. Correct, correct. Uh, tell, tell me a little bit more about the rest of the card, Frank. Um, Chantel Cameron, great to have her back. Yeah, right? interim title fight. She's got a tough fight, but she's looking for the full title. So hopefully she comes through and we can push her on. She's been a great signing for us and she's been brilliant to work with and I hope she comes through tonight. This is what I was speaking to Nathan, the hitman Heaney earlier on. He said something I didn't agree with. Obviously, he's coming off that loss to Brad Pauls. He said he felt like he let his city down, he let everyone down, tell him he's wrong. He, yeah, yeah. he is wrong and he yeah, didn't yeah. let anybody down. No, you yeah. made, you've been a credit to, it, to yourself, to Stoke, everything you've done and to your fans. No, and that's a fact of life. When you'll come back, and that's because you got it. That's what you're about. Yeah. You're about being a winner, and you'll come out. Yeah, of yeah. And shout out Tom Francis, who was watching this. He, he messed me after and said, "I'm letting no one down." So, free shout out Tom. Thank you very much, mate. I'm sure that Nathan's going to have a keen eye on uh, Brad Pauls and Denzel Bentley. It's a brilliant division. Yeah, very see, much involved. That's it. And look, you know, you look at the fight. You look at you know Denzel. You beat Denzel. He's fighting him. It's just like that's happening. You look at the heavyweights. Same things happening there. Guys are losing, winning, coming back. So that's what you've got to focus about. Focus on. You know, as long as you keep yourself well, you train well, you get another chance. There's no way in this world we're dropping anyone out. If they are committed and do what they've got to do in the ring, we're with them all the yeah. way. Yeah. It feels like now more than ever, the losses don't don't mean as much anymore. Everyone's fighting. Uh, everyone's coming it's, back. You look it's at how the, you lose. Yeah. It's how you lose. And it's the desire. Look, there are guys who lose, and unfortunately, that, they can't get over that. But, you know, a loss is a test of character, and it's not the, and I can always say it's not the end of the world. No, absolutely not. And look, listen, someone's O's got to go tonight in the main event. That's it's, for sure. But absolutely. Both unbeaten guys, both the same age. It's also a, a Queensbury versus Matchroom element. And Frank, you're doing pretty well in the Queensbury versus Matchroom stakes. Well, we can't complain. It's been going well. And uh, I hope that's going to continue tonight. This is a very important fight. Very important fight for Liam. He's done everything that's been asked. He's won the three, you know, British Commonwealth European in a, in a very short space of time. And it's gone a little bit under the radar what he's done, to be quite honest. I think, I think he should get more accolades for what he's done. So this fight, and he's won the IBO title. The only reason he hasn't fought for one of the others is because Inui has the four belts. And who knows what's going to happen down the road. But this is a tough fight tonight. If he comes for it, like I, I said to him, you will get a shot on one of those belts. Either if a new he gives them up, or if he holds on to them, we'll make sure the fight happens with him. Well, there's, there's the Inoue fight, which I know he won't back down from anyone. But of course, there's also the emerging Dennis McCann in a Correct. brilliant fight with Peter McGrath. What McGrath. a great domestic oh. fight, that is. It's a world-class fight. And, you know, you can put that on anywhere and it'll sell out. It's such a good fight and uh, I'm sure that will happen next year. Nathan, how are you seeing the main event? Let me get your kind of final thoughts heading into the main event. Dav Davies is the favourite going into it and there's a good reason for that because he's fought at the high, higher level and he's come through every single step of the way and he's stopped a lot of lads on the way as well. Obviously, Shabazz has boxed very well in his career and he's undefeated. So he, like I said before, he's just got, he's just got to get the game, perfect game plan. Because if he doesn't, Davies converts and beats everyone. Oh, the only person that can even stand in his way is the, like, the world champion, like a new way. But everyone below that, he's absolutely wiped out. So Shabazz has got the potential to 100% to beat Davies, but he has to get spot on. Is that how you're seeing it, Frank? I hope so, because that's, yeah. that's the business they're in. Um, I want to see that, and I believe he's got the credentials to it. 
But as amateurs, he lost twice for us. So, you know, you never know where yeah, that is. I, mean, yeah, I know yeah, what you're going to yeah, say, yeah. but it's amateurs and it's, it's a different. It's just how you develop as a fighter, because as an amateur, you might not have been that good. Like, I wasn't a great amateur, but the pros I just developed over the last seven years into a much better fighter. So, yeah, it, it'll be, it's going to be interesting. Could it play on Liam's mind, though? Could it play on Shabazz's mind? A anything? I don't think so. No. I, 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 for me, well, if I was going for my personality, I, I, it wouldn't affect me if I lost some of the amateurs yeah. at all. Good pro here, you know. Get going there mentally correct. As long as he stays focused, keeps his composure, does what he normally does, you know, hopefully it'll be alright. But he's got a guy in there who really fancies the job. No, he absolutely has. Listen, Frank, while we've got you, just a, a, a wider conversation about the heavyweights right now. The conversation out there is it doesn't sound like we're gonna see a Daniel Dubois Anthony Joshua rematch. That's what I'm hearing. What what can you tell us? What's next for, for Big Dan? Dan's going to fight in February. Um, I don't think it'll be AJ, you know. And uh, and by the way, you know he's the champion. It's not about what AJ wants to do. It's what Daniel wants to do. So we'll be we're looking at other guys now, and uh, we'll make an announcement fairly soon. But it'll be a big fight. I mean, he's he well and truly announced himself on the world stage, you know, in style like you can't believe. And uh, I'm I'm pleased for him. He's come of age. Mentally, he's come of age. It, it was physically. It was destructive. Like yeah. it was like the way he come out. Like it, it, it was just. It, it just. Dem it demolished him. He done what you. He done what heavyweight should do. He, he, he did what you've always said he's yeah. gonna do all the way through. Yeah. Like even when we boxed on the same card in Tal for like four years ago, yeah. you've always had a belief in him. And my goodness, he smashed it. Got a bit of an eye for talent, Frank. I, mean, I, I just hope my hindsight's not going. <laughs> But, but tell me this, when you're having these conversations with Daniel about the next step, what's he like? Is he just like, yeah, just let me know when? If I, know. if I, anyway. Yeah. But, you know, we sit down with Daniel, his team, his father, Don, Don, and he's, uh, he's got a couple of business people who work with him now, and we won't make a, a constructive and sensible decision. And that's all about various aspects of, you know, what, what each guy brings to the party, and uh, obviously the finances. Um, the obvious thing was when AJ was calling for a rematch, I had no problem with that. I felt he'd do the same thing again. But it's not, I don't think it's going to happen. And uh, as I say, we're looking at a couple of options, and it, one of them is very, very interesting. One of them is very, very interesting. What, what, what would you say that the, uh, the, the, the opponent's name begins with? Could you give us anything? A letter of the alphabet. <laughs> you got to try it, Nathan, yeah, you've got yeah, to try it. Yeah, you, you got to try it. Uh, throwing things uh, even, even further to Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk now. I think, you know, a couple of months away, but momentum is building. We've had that press conference. What did you make of Tyson's demeanour? He seems... He's not sitting there calling him a dosser and all of that anymore. There's respect now, more than ever. There's, of course there's respect. They're two world-class heavyweights. They're unbelievable fighters. Impeccable fighters. And what, what, what I'm sort of missing with a lot of people is it was such a close fight. There was nothing in it. It was a split decision. People, Some people are talking like Tyson got annihilated. That didn't happen. It was a fight of two halves and Tyson even won the last round. Um, it's going to be a great fight. They know each other now. Yeah. And at their age, their age down there, it's going to, I, I think it's going to be a fight of... Who is taking the most out of it? And one thing about Tyson, every rematch he's had, he's knocked the opponent out.